We decided to showcase our animating skills. It's not something that comes naturally to me because I was a fashion photographer, so I focused mo mostly on still imagery. Uh, I wanted to show my models in motion, animated, doing uh, the most amazing catwalk. We started with Daz, uh, brought in one of my favorite environments, and worked together with Claude from Lavi by CK to create the best virtual runway we could. The one thing that was appealing to me to collaborate with Cameron was his work ethic. He pays such close attention to details. It's just amazing once you see the results. Some of the biggest challenges for me during the creation of the runway were just trying to visualize the final outcome, uh, rendering out the animations and then fi finding something that I didn't like or hadn't gone right was just soul destroying <laughs> when you spend uh, two or three days uh, rendering, you know, a certain scene and it doesn't look right or some, you're not happy with something. Um, so this was a lot more time consuming than, than what I'm used to. But we decided to keep it very simple and that helped cut out a lot of the uh, back and forth. Digital fashion to me means another way to represent your clothing. And another way it may affect the industry is the way we had to rethink the process of a fashion show was very much imaginary. So you're imagining what you would want a show to be. So we are moving rapidly with technology and um, digital fashion is another way to represent the clothing. Some of the best moments were seeing the final <laughs> animations come together and realizing that we were actually going to create something that was really gorgeous. <sighs> the first time I saw the final show, I was actually with my sister. It was, I was, we were just so amazed by the work. It just, everything just came together and it looked beautiful. You really don't know what you're going to get until you've rendered out the animation and kind of played it back. Um, but seeing Shudu in motion in her custom walk uh, was just incredible. We pretty much did everything within Daz. We used their environments, animations, um, everything. I mean, Shudu and the rest of my models are all created in Daz as well. So this was almost entirely done through Daz. I think the only things we didn't do the original outfits were created in a program called Clo uh, and simulated there and then brought into Taz. Um, but our workflow is very, very simple. We keep it to a minimum with the amount of programs that we use. The process to digitalize the collection was pretty much straightforward. Um, we got the sketches done, got the pattern made, went to our grader, got it graded, sent it over to Cameron's team. Then they digitalize in their computer and on their models. Then they send it back to me. And then they, they just ask for approvals to see if everything looks great. If I did the runway again, I would just make it bigger. I think it needs to be longer. Uh, we worked for about two months and we had a minute's worth of footage. So I would probably decide to, to yeah, spend a bit longer on it and do something even, even bigger, even crazier. Um, and yeah, really, really put on a show. If I did it again, yes. One thing I would change would be timing. Timing is very important. I feel like if we just had a little bit more time, it would have been even a better show. But overall, the show was still amazing. If you're somebody that really wants to get into 3D or you're a beginner in 3D, or maybe you're more advanced, um, I always think there's new things that you can learn and you can always push yourself further. There are so many amazing tools um, that you can use within Daz and things that I'm learning every single day. Um, so never really, never really stop learning. You know, I'm always pushing myself to, to learn more about what the program can do and how it can help me achieve my goals, how I can make things look more realistic. So really keep an eye out for those, those things on the store as well that are just so super useful. I think you can easily miss something um, if you don't check it for a day uh, that could be incredibly useful uh, and always don't forget to just ask for help don't feel like you can't ask for help or ask for advice from those that you look up to the advice i would give to other designers 
ex wanting to expand into digital fashion would be to just try it. Try it and try to expand your brand to even be bigger.